How to Train a Dog to Be an Emotional Support Dog Hello, I am Ketchup. I am an emotional support dog of this man standing right next to me. He can be a lot of pain to handle, not because he suffers from an anxiety disorder, but because he throws a lot of tantrums. I am not trained to handle them, but what can I say? I am fantastic. Although, he loves me and I love him more than I can put into barks. Alrighty then, we'll catch up later. I have a walk to take. Studies show that 19% of the population in the country suffers from a mental condition which equates to almost 43 million people. An emotional support dog could be a viable solution to this problem. Dogs are loyal and have the ability to provide unconditional love and care to people suffering from these diabolic conditions. Unlike service animals, ESAs require no training, but basic training can help your dog become a better companion to live and travel with. Imagine you have an emotional support dog like Ketchup. They may be a perfect caregiver, but it's equally important to teach them to be cordial with other people and animals. That is where training becomes quite essential. But don't worry, it's not that hard. Start training from puppyhood. Like any exercise, you will find it easier to train your emotional support dog when they are just a puppy. The younger they are, the more trainable they become. This is often an ideal stage for inculcating lifelong habits. One of the most important things to teach your dog is social behavior. If you don't have a dog yet and are planning to get one, it's best to seek out a dog breed that is sociable and friendly with other people and animals. Obedience Training The simplest way to start training is by beginning with basic obedience commands. A dog who cannot sit or remain still will have a difficult time understanding your instruction, much less provide you with emotional support. Start with that. The four most common commands to teach are stay, sit, down, and heal. When practicing these, use a calm voice and have a release word like okay or good to signal that they can break the pose. Give them a treat every time they obey you so they know it's the right thing to do. Deep Pressure Therapy Once you've taught your dog some basic commands, move on to teaching your dog on how to comfort you with the care and emotional support you require. Deep pressure therapy is one of the simplest ways your animal can bring relief to your emotional and mental stress. It is performed when someone applies gentle pressure to a specific area of the body. It has been scientifically proven to help people with conditions like anxiety, stress, depression, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, and ADHD. You can train your emotional support dog to apply that pressure and give you that relief. For smaller dogs, they just need to lie their entire body across yours, while larger breeds can be trained to lie their paws or head across your lap. Begin by teaching them how to get onto the sofa. Try and lure them with a treat and work up a command to signal that it is okay to climb or hop onto the couch. Then show your dog how to lie vertically across your body with their paws resting on your shoulders. And in the case of larger breeds, you can similarly teach them to lay their head across your lap. In the end, teach them to get off the sofa with a command like, pause down, or hop off. The best way to train them is to use incentives or rewards like little treats. Aim to reduce them gradually until the movements become innate and less reward-based. Simulation so, Ketchup may have mastered all the necessary and deep pressure therapy commands, but the real test happens when panic occurs in reality. Instead of waiting for that, you can simulate real-life scenarios and train your dog to be an emotional support dog. Try recreating physical signs that you usually exhibit when a situation of mental or emotional distress is triggered. This doesn't always have to happen at home, as you can get an anxiety attack anytime. This will teach your dog warning clues and will enable them to act if they feel something is going wrong. 
Having an emotional support dog is an experience to behold. The love and care they provide cannot be replicated by any other being. So if you have a ketchup that helps you manage your mental condition, train it to be your emotional support dog. Hello again! I just learned so many things and I hope you did too. How exciting is that? And he snuggles me all the time. He thinks he trains me. Little does he know, I give him lessons every day. Okay, enough for the day. We'll meet again. Bye bye for now! Have more tried and tested tips for training emotional support dogs? We're stoked to learn more. Start a conversation in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for learning more about emotional support animals.